called the principle of subsidiarity. The idea is that the responsibility for addressing social and economic problems belongs to the closest community or authority that can handle those problems. So individuals are responsible for things like doing their jobs, making purchases, families are in charge of deciding where they want to live. Larger authorities like churches, community organizations, and local governments should do those things that individuals can't do alone, like protecting the homeless, feeding the needy, or fighting fires. Finally, state and federal governments should handle those big things that other organizations can't, things like building bridges and fighting terrorism. Let me give you an example of what subsidiarity looks like in a family setting. Ten-year-old Manny is responsible for doing his math homework every night. But sometimes he encounters a really tough problem, and he needs his mom to step in and help. Now, she shouldn't ignore him. She has a responsibility to help him learn. But she also shouldn't just do the homework for him. She needs to provide the right level of assistance when he needs it, because that's the best way for him to learn and grow. It's exactly the same with government. It's most effective when the local authorities are empowered to address the issues closest to them. Now, it can be tempting to think that the federal government should address a lot of the problems in our society. After all, it has the most money and resources. But when the federal government gets involved with everyday issues, it can rob local authorities of their ability and their responsibility to do their jobs. It's like if Manny's mom just did his homework for him while he was on the couch. Manny might think that was great at first, but in the long term, it's not good for anyone. Today, we're being asked a lot of questions about responsibility. Who should select a child's school? Who should decide which doctor or health insurance plan your family should receive? Who should care for a local family in need? Who should help the unemployed pay their bills? Who should save for your retirement? For each of these questions, we need to ask ourselves, can I do that for myself? Or do I need a larger authority to assist me? You know, a lot of times we see problems and we say, someone should really do something about that. Maybe what we need to realize is that that someone could be us. That's what subsidiarity is all about. Think about it. And maybe it's time we give it a try.